previously on Minecraft Story Mode. The Admin, a villain who can become anyone with a wave of his hand. How do you face a foe who's never exactly as he seems? Do you refuse to hide who you really are? Even when it might be a better idea to stay <laughs> under the radar? Not everyone can face a trickster head on. Some join him. Others put on a brave face even when they're scared. No matter what, encountering that kind of evil changes you. It can turn you into a hero. Or something else. If there's a lesson to be learned, it's be careful when you get close to an admin. You never know what might happen if you dig too deep. We have everyone? Everybody safe? Yeah, everyone except Nerb. Duh, can't believe you left him behind for some useless llama. She's not some useless llama. Looks pretty useless to me. If Nerb wanted to stay, Jack, you have to respect that. Well, you should have stopped him. There's a whole world down here. The first world, created by us, Romeo, Fred, and me. Haven't seen it since I was imprisoned, before he bedrocked over it all. You made this? Not this. This shadow. This is way worse than I imagined. That he'd do something like this to his own world. How did nobody know about this? It's just been down here this whole time? Romeo didn't want anyone to know. Wanted people to forget. He probably wants to forget about it too. Like you tried to forget me back there. <laughs> Funny. I knew what Romeo planned to do. But still, seeing it like this... Romeo? The Admin. Oh! It's worse than I imagined. This is the room where he killed Fred. I watched it happen. We refused to join him and... It was... Slow. It takes a strong person to survive all that. Seeing that happen to your friend and what Romeo did to you... Surviving doesn't feel like enough now. Fred's keep is that way. Want to defeat Romeo? The weapon's in there. That sounded vaguely ominous. Is that...? That is the biggest Enderman I've ever seen. Romeo never could leave well enough alone. He liked toying with the basic order of things. if I could go one day, just one day, without seeing something new and completely terrifying! So that thing is another admin-created monstrosity. Time to move, guys. <gasps> so mesmerizing. Not in the eyes, Peter. Don't look at its eyes! Thank you, Luna. 
Ghost dismantling the tower! My town isn't far from here. I'll lead the way. Fred's keep lies just on the other side, and we'll have some cover from that... thing. Wait, what? D do you guys see? Jesse, we gotta go. Is this place safe? I mean, you know, not asking for me, cause, cause I'm tough. Whatever. Our defenses are impressive. State-of-the-art machinery, automated farming. The Oasis is a completely self-sustaining city. It's... home? What happened to it? Wow, you kind of oversold this one. This place looks terrible. I... I didn't know. It was... beautiful. It was... Wait. This is your town? What has he done to it? Hang on. I just... need to see if it's still here. We have to keep moving. No telling what the admin is up to in Beacon Town. And they'll all think it's me. Oh, get out of here, you fucking carpet! Eee uh, yourself! You, uh, you okay there, Jack? No, this dumb stack of wool won't leave me alone. <laughs> Disgusting spit everywhere, not good for anything. No useful skills, can't make maps. No sense of humor. Terrible conversationalist. Hey, I get that you're upset, but would you stop taking it out on the poor llama, please? I do. I... Oh, I just... I want... I'm sorry. I think I let my mighty emotions get the better of me there. Sorry, Luna. <clears throat> we will get Nurm back, Jack. I don't know how yet, but we're not gonna forget him. Yeah, I... Uh, I appreciate that, Jesse. Years without sleep! Years! <laughs> Only rest is at home. Won't rest until I get there, I said! Zara? <sighs> Look! At... This... My bed! Gone! She's freaking out about a bed? Really? Could she be any more melodramatic? <sighs> 
Yeah, she's, uh, not in a good place right now. Good luck, buddy. I'm gonna go over here. I just wanted to sleep. I thought if I could find this one thing, one last thing still whole, there's no hope for this place. I'll never get it back now. He made sure. He won't get away with this. We'll get back at the admin for what he did. We'll avenge your, your, your bed. You really believe that, don't you? Zara, what are you doing over here by this, uh... It's a portal. What? A portal. Broken now like everything else. Just leave me here. Go. You want to destroy Romeo, don't you? Make him pay for what he did to you, your town? Then you have to get up. Not much use stuck down here. But what about the portal? Where does it go, anyway? Nowhere, obviously. It's broken. We built these so we could visit each other. An object in the frame would teleport you to the owner. My idea, by the way. Though Romeo took credit for it. Fred wanted to add the birch. He loved birch. So you'd know how to rebuild it. And get us up to the admin. I don't know if I can. If it was your idea, then you should know how to fix it, right? Unless it really was Romeo's invention. It was not. I don't know. Not sure I buy it. Oh, I see what you're doing. I don't get it. How do you keep going? Look where you are, but you're still fighting. Why? Because the admin can't win, Zara. I won't let him. Not after everything he's done. If Fred's weapon can take him down, I'm gonna find it. Fine. It won't work without a personal object. Something with a strong bond to Romeo to take us right to him. Though an object crafted on the surface could do in a pinch. Let me worry about finding an object for the portal. You just focus on getting it running. Follow the tracks. They'll lead you to Fred's keep. Whatever Fred found, he hid it at home. That's what he told me. Jesse! Go. I'll see what I can do. Zara said to follow the tracks to Fred's keep. That's where we'll find the weapon. Kind of useless unless we can find a way out of here. Can't exactly go back up through that prison. Zara's got it covered. Oh, great. Just what this place needed. Run on ahead! Say no to a little gunpowder. Close one. Fred, keep here. We come. Uh, Jesse. Oh, no, who made eye contact with the Enderman? Sorry. As long as it doesn't do that. Everybody jump! Jack! I'm 
Okay. No. Need to stop saying that. You two are in a bit of a pinch, ain't ya? Smell like a couple of admin lackeys to me. AKA trouble. Definitely smells like admin. Nope, no trouble here. Just two people hanging out. Yeah, you look like you're having a great time. <laughs> We've been scavenging these lands since the darkness fell. You know what? We can sniff out an outsider when we sniff one. So what are you doing all the way down here, small fry? You lost? We're just passing through, really, that's all. Huh, don't look like you're doing too much passing through at the moment. Seems to me you're stuck. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Good one. Maybe we help you, maybe we just walk away. Leave you here to die. <laughs> The first one. Pick the first one. I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. Getting down there. Pulling you up. Help us and we may surprise you? When's the last time you met someone new down here? Not a fan of surprises. Especially since the last one. Things do get pretty boring down here, though. Yeah. Listen here, folks. Down here, we don't do anything for free. Can't really blame us, what with the giant monsters and nothing growing. So, how about we take your inventory for a spin? Permanently! We're really interested in any weaponry you may have. <sighs> a warrior without their sword in a place like this is dead meat! Your friend doesn't look like he's gonna last much longer. What'll it be? Don't do it, Jesse. We can find another way. Your swords or splat? Flatter than a lily pad at the bottom of this canyon. Yeah, <laughs> splat. No deal. Yeah, well that's disappointing. <sighs> yeah, we'll go our own way. Don't go playing heroes, squishies. Well, this dark will snuff out a light like you real fast. <laughs> Jack, Jesse. Jack. Eh, tried to tell ya. Oh, move out, you stink bags! Jack! And then, he was gone. Did you see him land? Oh no. Jack. He... He can't be. Jesse? He... He'll be fine, right? Jack knew we had to defeat the admin no matter what. He would want us to keep going. That's exactly what he would have wanted. <laughs> Past tense. Wait. What about Luna? What about her? <laughs> She's a treasure-sniffing llama, right? Treasure-sniffing, not jack-sniffing. I don't think Luna would be much help here. I guess this is how they keep the mobs out. Tree? 
Strangers! Strangers! Binta! What do we do here, Jesse? Ah! Stop! Stop right there! Okay, okay! I don't want any trouble. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone, everyone in the underneath. Binta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters. Yeah, that's kind of an understatement. How can they care about trivia when their whole world is falling apart? I don't know. I kind of like... Never mind. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. This is some kind of trick, right? No. It's a trivia contest. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone! Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now! Gather round, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent. And we have a challenger! Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude! Kent! Be my best friend! Nice try, Kent. Taking you down. Ha! <laughs> Me? Taken down by you? Inconceivable. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin! Nice. Yes, yes, yes! This minimalism is so very Fred. What? How can you say that? That that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round 
a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! Uh, light blue? Oh, I'm truly sorry, Jesse. That is not correct. This round goes to Kent. <laughs> Let's see if Jesse can catch up. Unlikely. Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool. What was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good. Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine, feathery friend. What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. Fred's pet was a very distinguished individual named Sir Cluxalot. <clears throat> Sadly, no. That is not correct. Good name, though. Sadly, our new competitor has not managed to answer enough questions correctly to beat our reigning champion. For the 15th competition in a row, Kent has won. As is proper. Kent wins again. What do we do now? I have an idea. Oh, Fred, let's go. <laughs> mm. Oh, even his snore makes him sound like a know-it-all. You go ahead. I'll keep watch. <sighs> Time to find that weapon. Fred's real number one fan. Yeah, he's out. Nothing in here now, except that button. It's a... Secret room. There's got to be something down here. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. This is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait, home? And he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. Three towns, there's the oasis there, and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? No cabin, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something.
we think we know a way to defeat the admin. Uh, Romeo. I haven't heard that name in... You can't stop him. Although you clearly believe you can. <sighs> Maybe my people were right about you. They say you're dangerous. There are rumors that you're from above the bedrock. I'm beginning to think they're true. And if they are, that can only mean trouble. You've already caused quite a bit of it. And you just arrived. I'm sorry, Binta. I really am. I didn't want to cause you any trouble. <sighs> Thank you. Did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon? Go on. Tell me. I'm afraid we need to ask you for more help. You must be joking. To ask something of me now? You've completely destroyed the sanctity of Fred's home. Yeah, uh, we need to find a cabin. The one where Romeo, Zara, and Fred used to hang out. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. Problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. Just stop talking. You understand I have no reason to help you after what you've done. But if you really are from up there, there's something I would take in exchange. Get me and my people above the bedrock. You must know a way. Above? Binta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. Of course, but I don't want to get your hopes up. We're not 100% sure our way will work yet. A chance is better than nothing. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. Let me worry about that. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They have a massive army, but I'm sure with your techniques, you'll be just fine. Keep it safe. I'm glad you decided to help us. I'm not doing it for you. You're our best chance of getting out of this place. I expect you to hold up your end. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Where did... Hey, get that back! Ugh, thanks. Sensitive radar. Petra's just teasing you. I know, I know. Just a little too real. Sorry, radar. I, I just tease because I love. To tease. So, uh, what's the compass saying? We still heading the right way? Hang on, let me check. Seems like we're still on. Tracks out. Everybody brace yourselves. No! <laughs> No, not for you. Man, the track is a complete wreck. Yeah! What's up with...
Oh my goodness. <sighs> yes. Only one person I know fights like that. You are the real Jesse! Ivor? <clears throat> yes. It is I. Your friend Ivor. I'm a ninja now, Jesse! What? Yeah, what? It all started when I fell through a portal into some sort of strange world. It was all nice. Huh, you see? Ninja reflexes. Wait, you tried to hit me. Why'd you try to hit me? That would have been quite painful. Why, Why do you think you tried to kill me? Ah, uh, yes. That was an unfortunate way to reunite. Let me explain. You see, it all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return, having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. Oh, that is such a lie. Just thinking about the admin, running around, pretending to be me, makes me sick. Yes, I would be frustrated too. Especially seeing how convincing the admin's disguise is. Jesse, a.k.a. the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, a.k.a. you. But with my new ninja senses... <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right! Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No! But I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that! That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out. Because... I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Hmm. Ivor, even coming from you, that is one dumb plan. Yep. Oh, give me a break, would you? The admin has made everything very confusing. I'm a desperate man. Speaking of whom... I can't spend much more time down here. If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about that? I'm a ninja! Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible. But dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. But tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think that he built an inescapable prison. Ah, oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego, after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. Oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! You saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor. Nah, uh Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys.
Looks like the compass is pointing right to that building. Oh, good. It only sounds like there are a few thousand big scary people between us and there. Halt! You there! What business have you? I, uh, think we need to go into that building behind you. If that's okay! Uh, you know, it is in fact not okay, okay? Now just move along, and don't go anywhere near the building, or we will sick our army on you. Or we'll sick our army on you! Wouldn't want to unleash the force of our army! I fought creepers, zombies, a giant computer, a wither storm. Bring out your army. We can take it. You are not leaving. <laughs> you will regret not leaving after you've tasted the wrath of our mighty army. <laughs> Weird. It's not weird. The army just, just, uh, took a power nap. Now they're stronger than ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to their nap. Yeah. We're not gonna ask you again, all right? You just skedaddle before our well-rested army makes you regret it. We're gearing up. Yeah, it's the biggest army you've ever heard right here. Did you not hear me? I said bring it on! I'm ready to fight this army of yours! Oh! Oh! And they're happy to take you on, uh-huh. But, uh, they're still getting ready, and it's gonna be a while. And you'll just get bored waiting, so you should probably just leave. <sighs> Alright, we... we don't have an army. Exactly. Mm, yeah. I know, but, uh, still can't let you in. Sorry. Really, it's for your own good. That building you're pointing at? That's Romeo's challenge. Yeah, it's nothing more than a death trap. The worst kind of trap. Which is why we vowed to keep everyone out. Even relentless travelers like you. I mean, you should thank us for keeping you away from it, okay? We're doing you a solid. I escaped Romeo's highest security prison. The Sunshine Institute? I think I can handle some little challenge. Whoa, that's hardcore. Whoa, yeah. Anyone who escaped that place? Mad props. Open the gate! On it! No, Soup, the, the gate. Yeah, the, the real gate. Right, on it! Whoa, weird llama. What are they doing? Negotiating terms. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you've got a pet llama too. Oh, she's not my pet. She's my pack animal. She just holds my stuff. You're a strong, independent llama. You don't need to define your life with a pet owner relationship. This place is a wasteland. Yeah, uh, having a town where everyone enters a mysterious challenge room that never comes out will do that. I, uh, <laughs> suppose that, uh, might affect population levels a little. Uh, we still don't feel good about permitting you in the challenge room, especially unarmed. But we'll trade you some gear if you can build something to scare off future unwanted visitors. You know, like a snowman. Or a huge flower. Just... Make something that will help us strike fear into the hearts of all who would see it. Keep people off our backs. Something to give us a little me time.
Oh, wow. That will give me nightmares. <laughs> well done. Yes. Wonderfully horrifying. Nothing organized, not alphabetized, not even sorted by material? This is barbaric! This is what we managed to salvage from the goofballs. Uh, I mean, residents who tried entering? Treasure sniffing llama, eh? Souls. Good thinking, Luna. We'll be back for you soon. I hope. release waterfalls upstairs it's so calculated so precise judging by the multiple pressure plates there's some complex engineering behind these walls wouldn't expect anything less from the guy who made an icy palace of despair I think this was meant for the three friends Romeo Zara and Fred how do you guys feel about pulling some mystery levers and seeing what happens Admin designed all this just for his friends? Are you ready for the most thrilling, death-defying, heart-pounding challenge you've ever experienced? <laughs> these things no idea but they don't look friendly at least it's not another dumb spider puzzle ooh wow what a showdown folks we're having the time of our lives aren't we turns lava into mine cobblestone. in time congratulations challenges stage one of 600 <laughs> complete what stage two and begin. there's no way we're making it to stage 600 three levers got us into this so so maybe those three levers will stop it. Come on, Radar. Let's bust that machine. Radar, you have to break the machine. I'll cover you.
one down with water too. size. I broke my pickaxe anyway, so I guess it's time for another idea. We have gunpowder! TNT! Just gotta get some sand and we're set. Right. Good thinking, Radar. Radar, get ready. Fire incoming! Just need four sand blocks, quickly! like this thing. Place down here that 
looks alive. Oh, oh, perfect. Huh. Oh. I'll meet you over there. I'm gonna go take a look around. How's it looking? Doesn't seem to be anybody around. Nobody inside. Should be safe. Safe-ish. Let's just get that weapon and get out of here. Remember I used to read all the time? Now I barely do. Things change. Yeah. It's like the one we used to have back at the treehouse. Till someone, you, broke it. Uh-huh. <sighs> Petra? What's wrong? Uh, n nothing. It just reminds me of... Uh, this, this story about puppies. Really sad story. You know me, I can't help crying about dumb stuff like that. Come on, Petra, you're lying. We both know it. No! Puppies just make me really sad, okay? <sighs> Fine. It's not the puppies. Doesn't this remind you of anything? Our friends? We used to hang out in that treehouse all the time. Now, we barely talk. Why does this keep happening? Everyone leaves, and I'm, I'm just by myself again. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I see them one by one, just... You do kind of push people away. I don't think you mean to, but when things don't go your way, you get distant. That's because I know what's coming. Better to end it on my terms. Doesn't that seem a little self-sabotaging? Maybe. Axel and Olivia are barely around. We already lost Jack. Didn't take long for the new Order of the Stone to fall apart, did it? My fault for thinking it would be different. Held together longer than most. People change, Petra. They grow apart sometimes. That's not a bad thing. That's easy for you to say. I'm the one who always ends up alone. I know this isn't important right now. Let's just find the weapon and get out of here. Something's not right here. The beds don't go with the banners? Observer block? What's it looking at? The beds? Purple for Zara. That did something. One down. Now the rest of these need to go in the right order. Blue for Fred. Red for Romeo. Fred's journals. Dear Zara, if you're reading this, I'm already gone. I hid this in the one place I knew you would look for it. Fitting the key to ending all this would be here, where it all started. This is the key to defeating Romeo. 
it says hashtag potato four five one. Potato? That's the weapon. What are wh what are we supposed to do with potato? That's not a weapon. It's a root vegetable. Please stop saying potato. Sorry. I guess I should say hashtag potato four five one. Take this word of passage and use it at the primary terminal. You can take away his power and end this. Word of passage, huh? I guess that's the potato. I still have hope for Romeo. He just wanted us to stay together more than anything. I know that's why he's doing this. Maybe I'm being foolish, but I need to know for sure before taking this step. Though I guess if you're here, I got my answer. Maybe someday we'll be together again. Your friend, always, Fred. I kind of feel bad for them. Don't you? Their private affairs have nothing to do with us. We got what we came for. We should go. You really think this has nothing to do with us? Don't you get it? Everyone talks about Romeo like he was this controlling monster, but... Fred wrote that Romeo just wanted to keep them together, more than anything. Isn't that what I've been doing? Especially to you? I don't want you to feel forced to keep doing something you don't want to. I don't want to be that person. Or, or make you feel scared to tell me the truth. As if you could force me to do anything. <laughs> Guess I should give you a little more credit. I've been thinking a lot about what you said. Adventuring is what I'm good at. It's where I belong. Not in Beacon Town. But I don't want to... lose you. You mean a lot to me, Jesse. I... More than anyone else, you've been there. You have to do what's best for you, Petra. And no matter how far away that takes you, you'll always know where to find me. I'm gonna miss you. I always knew you were a big old softy. <laughs> You'll never be able to prove it. We'll see. We'd better get that book back to the portal. Right. Let's go stop the admin. His days of being Jesse are over. Call the others. We're getting out of here. For a reason to keep things away there are people in Fred's keep who are coming with us right that won't be a burden sounding pretty adminish there Zara the weapon is what we need not bodies to throw at the problem people just complicate things make everything messy inefficient you've done nothing but lead us astray since we've been down here could be that you're the burden Funny, I don't remember you getting a portal working again. As you can see, the portal's fully functional. You complete your end? Yep, I think this should send us home. And there's Fred's weapon. Potato. Hmm. Weird, right? I, I thought it was weird. Fred trusted him. He went to Romeo with the best of intentions and was... was... 
Ugh. There is no redemption in Romeo. None. He needs to be stopped once and for all. He deserves it. Worse. For this and everything else. It's the only way. If it comes to that, maybe. Jesse, we can't just take him out. There is no maybe. But heroes are supposed to help people, not hurt them. Romeo deserves what's coming to him. Fred should be avenged. Fred was the best of us, cut down. I can't let it stand. Romeo did awful things. We'll make sure he pays for them. Glad to hear it. I'm not. Romeo destroyed my world, and I wasn't there to help it. He's stolen it from me. There is no rebuilding. I have nothing now. It's really over. All the things we made. Here, I found this, and there are good things left if you look for them. That you would... I... I'm not used to being wrong. Thank you. But we still need to move forward. <sighs> All right. Let's get this over with. Hand over that trinket of yours. Uh, Jesse? Get out of its way! It's the Fred folk! Those are not the people from Fred's Keep. Those are mobs! Oh, just what we needed. Find me a bed when I had been so unhelpful. Go! Mobs don't stand a chance. Like all my training from the marsh hoppers of the Harlying Swamps totally paid off. Jack! <gasps> you thought a little fall will get the better of the Velvet Tornado? Please. For Fred's keep! For the future! Bye! 
Otherwise, that Enderman is never going to leave us alone. <laughs> Nothing like a little pressure to make building fun. bring us, but hopefully it'll be close to home. Everyone, we are leaving! Oh boy, radar. We're winning, for now. But they're not going to be able to hold that line for much longer. Especially not if that Enderman takes the portal apart. It's bad news. It's after me. Dangerous. Hey, I helped defeat that magma golem, didn't I? I can really do something here, and I want to help. No way everyone's getting through the portal with that huge creep hanging around. They get left behind. Oh, no! <laughs> the Enderman is after me. I can buy you time. You're our friend, Radar. We're not leaving you down here. We have to stick together. This is my time, Jesse. I know it. I have to do this. You're too important to me, Radar. I can't let you do that. I can't lose you. But the people... If anyone understands how to stay alive down here, it's them. <laughs> The best thing we can do for them is stop the admin. Time just ran out! Everyone get to the portal! portals ever. I'm with the llama. <laughs> I'm a... Uh, give me a second. We're in the roller coaster. Ah. Okay. 
It's the Old Order's temple. We did it. We're back. Oh, oh, oh my. This, this is where Soren forged the amulet of the Order of the Stone. This dirt touched their heroic feet. And now it's touching mine. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm ruining it. I'm not worthy. Oh, the dirt is warm. Does the dirt feel warm to everyone else? Radar, I hate to interrupt your excitement, but it's a building. I promise you can come sightsee after we defeat the admin terrorizing Beacon Town. Okay, if you promise. It would have been nice to show Binta and the others what our world looks like. I hope they're okay. Did you see that? Okay, somebody tell me I'm losing it. Is that? Beacon Town. Jesse, man, is it good to see you? Where are the others? <laughs> 